Gentlemen, I'm going to quickly show you how to use After the Fact Payroll in QuickBooks 2017, and this is geared to show my fellow accountants and bookkeepers and services that provide payroll for clients. Now, there's a whole rigorous way to set up a client initially, so hopefully that part you've already been able to figure out. After you've added, let's say, employees, or even if you didn't, first thing you want to do, and there's one way to do it, but there's always three or four ways to do the same thing. Over here, the home, over here you have employees, you have payroll center, pay employees, you can do it from here, or I like to just use employees, pull down menu, and quickly after the fact payroll. Now quickly before I even click on the after the fact payroll, if you look down below here, you got payroll setup. And if you haven't done it, you have to, you might want to check this out first because it could actually help you with a lot of the process and information needed to completely do a payroll 941, 940s, and W-2s, and all those other forms. So I would definitely go through here and set up everything as you can that you know this way when you do after the fact payroll most of the information will be there already it'll just save you a little bit of time and sometimes it'll actually help you not miss some steps that are needed but let's say I already did that already I click on after the fact payroll if you notice up here the first line it says calculation methods adjust out of balance paychecks by applying the difference of federal withholding well, typically, you get um, the check stubs from the client, and you have the net. And you need to know the gross, but you don't know exactly all of that information. But usually, the plug is going to go into federal withholding. So let's say we make a check. We use today's date. Check number employee name I'll add a new one just to show you guys the new guy new guy pay me okay so security one two okay and of course that was a good example if you do something wrong It'll tell you. Date of birth, one, one, two, 1980. Oh, that was bad. Marital status. And I think that's enough that we need additional info. Payroll info. And we can give them, let's add new, let's do annual salary, regular pay, pay, finish, and also when you first set up your accounting file, the QuickBooks file, this will automatically be set up for you where it posts things to. Okay. We did everything we need. Make sure you fill out everything for this employee. Continue. Hourly. Let's say he gets fifty thousand dollars a year. Go okay. Leave as is. So really, his gross wages, calculating based on how we set it up, is that. But we actually paid him 2500 this year on this check. And we tab, press tab, out of balance. So what do we do? The best thing to do is apply to with higher withholding. Calculate the pay net. 
What happens if we give him 5,000 bucks? Apply the federal withholding. The difference still remains between your net pay and the calculated net. Okay. Gross wages. 2,500. Tap. And we paid him 2,700. Apply. Still out. With a difference of 391. Sometimes if you make a gross much higher, the net pay is 27, but the net pay was really 25. So it automatically calculates the difference to federal withholding. $2,000. Now, number two. Let's do test pay me. We are going to pay myself $3,000. Apply difference of federal withholding. And you really need seven thousand dollars is gross and then you see that if the gross is seven and you paid three that means federal withholding gets adjusted by the three but really what what it's saying is if you paid higher than the gross it won't work because that's just not how it works but if you pay lower than the gross the difference is going to go to federal withholding okay let's try a new employee add new dude okay set up now okay continue Payroll info, bi-weekly. Payroll schedule, earnings. 50, let's just add new. Hourly wages. Regular pay. Hour. Finish. Annual rate, $25 an hour. Okay, okay. Dude, we paid you, dude, 1500 bucks. Okay, but really, we know your salary is 2500 bucks. We paid you 2500 bucks. Automatically, your check was 1500 bucks. We automatically say that 800 of it went to withholding because that's just the way it is. Now, I want to show you another way to adjust the paycheck in case it's not working exactly how you see fit. You can go in, up down here and go view edit details. Okay, and of this check, you put the gross in. Okay, you uh, let's say this guy, well, you made two thousand bucks. Say you worked 75 hours, but the check amount to perform net and gross calculation, you may only use one payroll item in the earnings table and then type must be either bonus or round on salary. So you can't really use this function for hourly guys. So let's save and close. Let's do another payroll. For our 
new guy payment. Okay? That's the gross. What did we pay? We paid a thousand. We paid less than the gross. We didn't really know. Or we figured. And it's saying, hey, you already gave a paycheck to this guy. Save anyway. Because we paid him only a thousand. And his gross was really nine hundred. We're saying that we already withheld for him on his behalf seven hundred and seventy five dollars. So the key is whatever your gross is, whatever that guy employee is supposed to make, and you pay less, as long as you pay less than the amount of taxes, the balance is going to go to federal holding. Because you owe the guy $1,900. Or you owe the guy $5,000, but you only paid him $2,500. So after the Medicare Social Security withholding, you still owe the guy $2,000, but you never gave it to the guy. So that means that you withheld it and then this will add to your liability when you do your liability reports and you've got to give that to the government if you're all legit. After all said and done, you go and record. You click record and you're all good and you can click out. I think actually once you do one check. So now if you go to reports and you go to employees and payroll, payroll summary, you'll see that, let's make the date, the date that we worked on. Refresh, and there we go. Dude got 1800 new guy pay me, got 6000 because we did two for that guy. And test me, got seven. And then it tells you all the things about the payroll that you've done for those checks. And if you set all, if you set up all the right things for your Florida unemployment rates and all that other stuff, you will get your total employer contribution amount. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this helps you a little bit. We will continue to give more tutorials on this topic.